If you're looking for a dress watch that is not boring, one that you should definitely check out is the Empire series from Vario. This is, in my opinion, one of the most beautifully designed and unique dress watches that I've seen. It has a really cool Art Deco style that was inspired by the Empire State Building, and they just released a new chronograph version of this watch, which is what we're taking a look at today. Today we're checking out the Vario Empire Chrono. Hey guys, welcome back to Just The Watch. My name is Dave, I live in Japan, and I love to collect affordable watches. And today we're taking a look at a great affordable dress watch. Now Vario is a micro brand based out of Singapore. They've previously produced two versions of the Empire, one being a mechanical hand-wound version and one being an automatic version. This one takes that same design and it implements a chronograph function onto it. And Vario is a pretty unique micro brand. They don't do a ton of releases, but each release that they do, they put so much heart and so much care into every little component of it. You know, I see a lot of micro brands that use a lot of kind of off the shelf parts, you know, where they've taken like a handset from one watch or a case from another watch and sort of combine them in interesting ways. But when you look at the details on this watch, you can tell that basically every element has been custom designed by Vario to suit their design vision. And that's really cool. It gives the watch a ton of character and uniqueness. And I think they did an excellent job at realizing this kind of Art Deco style that they were going for. Now I am doing a double review of this watch with Shane over at Relative Time. He's got a slightly different colorway of the same watch. So once you're done with this video, make sure you head over to his channel, check out his take on the Vario Empire Mecha Quartz Chrono. Now this watch was given to me by Vario for review purposes, which is why you saw the paid promotions flag at the beginning of this review. However, other than the watch itself, I did not receive any compensation from Vario, nor did they have any input into the content of this review. So let's start by looking at the dimensions, specifications, and price. Dimensions are perfect for a dress watch. I think this 38 millimeter case really is kind of the sweet spot when it comes to dressier pieces. That combined with the 45 and a half millimeter lug to lug, I think is gonna make it wear great on almost any wrist. And I think it looks fine on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. It has a pretty average thickness at 11 millimeters. And you know, given that this is a mecha quartz movement, I would have hoped they could have slimmed it down a little bit. Would have been nice to see it at closer to 10 millimeters, but I feel like 11 millimeters is, yeah, totally fine. Lug opening is 20 millimeters, so there's going to be a ton of different straps that you can swap this over to. And Vario themselves are as much a strap manufacturer as a watch manufacturer, so they have a ton of options direct from their site. We'll look at a few of those as we go through this review as well. Rounding out these specs, you're getting 50 meters of water resistance, a flat sapphire crystal, and inside you have the Seiko VK64 battery-powered mechanism a quartz movement. You can pick this watch up for $298 direct from Vario. All right, next we're gonna take a look at the design. And as I mentioned before, there's so much that is unique to this watch. So I wanna kind of jump through the individual components and sort of highlight the care that has gone into creating them and how they kind of all mesh together to support this design that Vario is going for. The overall design inspiration for the Empire, both the chronograph and the mechanical version, really is this kind of 1920s Art Deco style and more specifically the Empire State Building. I think this Art Deco style really comes across most clearly in the tuxedo layout, in the font that they've chosen for the numerals, and in the handset design that they've done. This is a very unique looking dress watch that has a ton of personality. For this chronograph edition of the Empire, Vario has modified the design by implementing a bi-compax chronograph layout. At 3 o'clock you have a 24-hour subdial which displays the current time. And this is just part of the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement. For whatever reason, Seiko decided that that would be a good feature to implement on this movement. To me, it's rather pointless, and I feel like it just kind of balances out the design. I would have much preferred like a date subdial, a running seconds hand, or a second time zone display. Over at nine o'clock is where you get the subdial for the chronograph. This will count chronograph minutes up to 60 minutes. However, this does not have individual minute markings on the subdial, which is gonna make it very difficult to accurately tell how many minutes have passed. You do get indexes every five minutes, so you can get a pretty general idea, but for a chronograph that's supposed to have accuracy, I feel like they really should have included 60 minute markings, even if that would have cluttered the dial a little bit more. What I do like is the way that these two subdials kind of work with this tuxedo sector dial design. 
you wind up with a pretty interesting shape in the middle of this dial. And for me, I kind of like the look of it. The black circle in the background has a guilloche pattern etched into it that just has a beautiful mesmerizing look. Well, the two subdials have kind of a circular brushed finish to them. And those subdials kind of intrude into that silver finished outer ring. It's interesting, it's different, it's a little bit quirky. And while it's probably not gonna be to everyone's taste, I kinda like it. The dial is also multi-layered, giving you a subtle depth and dimension as you go across the various elements of it with applied Arabic numerals completing the look. One of my favorite parts of the design is the handset. This is a custom design handset that is completely unique to Vario. It has a high polish skeletonized design that features some interesting geometry in it. The minute hand looks like a long slender sword. While the hour hand is meant to emulate the silhouette of the Empire State Building with its syringe shaped tip representing the spire on top. The Empire also features a completely unique case design as well. As the lugs meet the watch case, they overlap the rounded polished bezel across the top of the watch. And the bezel has a smaller diameter than the rest of the case giving it a stepped appearance. The case features brushwork on the sides with polishing done across the top, and the onion style crown complements the design beautifully. All of these elements come together to create a design that has, again, just a ton of personality and uniqueness, with every individual element feeling like it was crafted specifically for this watch and crafted to complement a well thought out theme. Vario seems to nail the details every time they create a watch, and this one is no exception. Now this watch is powered by the Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz Movement. Mecha Quartz Movements are really cool. They are a battery powered quartz regulated movement, so they have the same accuracy as quartz movements. However, they do have a mechanical module attached to them which controls the chronograph. That mechanical module is a series of gears, springs, and levers similar to what you would find in a mechanical chronograph. However, rather than being powered by a spring, it's powered by a battery, and rather than being regulated by a balance wheel, it's regulated by the quartz crystal. The VK64 is a particularly interesting mecha quartz movement because it doesn't have a running seconds hand on the watch. That is, there's, there's no seconds hand that normally ticks unless the chronograph is activated. This can be a little bit disconcerting because if you look at the watch and if the chronograph not running, there's no indication that the watch itself is running. But it is fairly common for dress watches to lack a second hand, so I feel like this is perfectly appropriate for this style of watch. And as soon as you activate the chronograph pusher, you will see the central seconds hand begin to sweep. And one of the benefits of this being a mecha quartz is that it does have a very smooth sweep. It ticks at five times per second. Taking full advantage of this, the watch does feature a very slim chapter ring along the very outer edge of the dial, which includes markers down to one fifth of a second. So technically, if your eyes are good enough, you can determine increments as small as one fifth of a second accurately on this chronograph. The other fun benefit to this being a mecha quartz is that the pushers have a very tactile mechanical feel when you activate them and you particularly see that when you reset the chronograph hand you get this instant snap back rather than that kind of slow smooth sweep that most quartz chronographs have. The one downside that I have seen to these mecha quartz movements is that the second hand can occasionally become unaligned or you can get one that's not aligned properly when you first receive it. That is when the chronograph is reset it doesn't reset exactly back down to zero. And while on a standard quartz chronograph movement, you can typically adjust that yourself by pulling out the crown and then holding down the pushers to slowly increment that second hand back into alignment, you don't have that feature with a mecha quartz. If that second hand is misaligned, I believe the only way to fix it is really to take it to a watchmaker and have him take the watch apart and align it properly. However, the second hand on this watch is perfectly aligned, so hopefully you won't have any problems with that. If you like this t-shirt or if you're looking for a watch-themed t-shirt, check out my website, justthewatch.com. I've got a whole bunch of cool designs available. Support the channel and help me out. Thanks a lot. Well, there is a lot that I like about this watch. There are a few areas that I'm not too keen about. Let's get that out of the way. The main problem that I have with this watch is the legibility. Those polished hands look absolutely beautiful, but particularly indoors, they often disappear completely against that black dial. This is made worse by the fact that this watch is completely lacking in any loom, which is perfectly fine for a dress watch, that's kind of what you would expect, but the consequence is that in low lighting you are going to have a difficult time picking out the time. We've already touched on the lack of minute indexes on the chronograph subdial, which kind of defeats the precision that a chronograph is supposed to offer, leaving you to guess how many minutes have elapsed. It's kind of interesting how they went with such a detailed chapter ring so that you can actually tell how many fifths of a second have elapsed, but you might not be able to tell how many minutes have elapsed. 
So aesthetically, the chronograph works great in this watch and in this design, but in practice, you're gonna have a hard time actually using it. Now, this next issue isn't really a con because it's something that they're in the process of fixing right now, but by way of explanation, there is an error on the case back of the prototype and initial versions of this watch. And that is that the case back says that this is an automatic watch when it should say that it's a mecha quartz watch. Now, since there is an automatic version of the Empire, my suspicion is that they just put the wrong case back on there. And upon realizing it, they immediately pulled these from the store and marked them as sold out. However, it's not that they're sold out, it's just that they're fixing the case backs, getting the new ones printed. And as soon as those are fixed, they're gonna be back up on the store ready to go. And in fact, by the time this review is released, they might have already had all that strained out. And so you can go over there now and check and see if these are available. And as soon as that case back is fixed, they'll be put back online on the site and you can purchase them and they'll be shipped out shortly after. I believe the timeline was something like late July, early August when they'll be available. So if you are looking for a well-built, unique, interesting dress watch that is also beautiful, and you want something a little bit more complicated by implementing that chronograph feature, I think this is a really cool option. But let me know what you think. I'd love to hear what you look for in a dress watch. Drop me a comment down below, let me know. Anyways, that'll wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.